Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today we're talking about why you are losing money via crypto. Now, that's very simple. Why you are losing money via crypto. Now, majority of people are losing money via crypto. I've never lost money on crypto. Never. It's never happened to me once. Now, why? You see, I think the reason why a lot of people, and this is in response to your emails, you know, I've, I've gotten a ton of your emails and I see your comments under my videos. In fact, when I'm talking about something else, you guys want to bring the conversation uh, into crypto. And I understand, you know, because I mean, this channel, you know, my masterclasses, it has to be, it has to meet your needs. So I'm not here to just talk because I like my voice. So if you guys want to address this issue, I'm going to address it. The reason why a lot of people are losing money via crypto is very simple. They are not playing the right game. Now, you gotta understand, crypto is just like cars. You know, most people buy cars. Most people buy cars. I used to buy cars a while back until I started the free Leah Sharibu campaign and I began traveling around the world and I gave out all my cars. And then now I realize that if when I need cars, I lease them. You see, rich people, folk, wealthy folks, all my wealthy friends, they lease cars, they don't buy cars. And then when, whenever they are, they are done with the car, they just send it back, you know. And that's why they are always with new models of cars. They lease them for a year. And then uh, when the warranty is about to be uh, over, they just send the car back to the dealer. The dealer sells it to somebody who is not very smart. And then they get the latest model still with the guarantee. They use it with the warranty. They use it for a year. The same thing you should do with cryptocurrency. Don't buy cryptocurrency and hold it. Cryptocurrency is, I mean, it's, it's, it's not something that you want to hold because you are a collector or, or because that you, you like crypto, crypto, cryptocurrency. You're in it to make money. And the only way you can make money from cryptocurrency is by, in, that is, at least for now, is by buying and selling immediately it rises. So for instance, I've told you guys how I do, I do indexing. So I buy every day, I sell every day. It's called day trading. You know, I've told you guys before, and if you watch my previous video, I used the stop order uh, feature and then the, for stop sales and stop buys. And if you don't know how to do that, you watch my previous video. You know, I, sh I, I mean, I went a step by step by step guide on how to do it. It's available on Coinbase. It's available on uh, uh, Binance. I didn't know that before. It's also available on eToro and on Kraken. So you, it's been available on, on Coinbase since 2016. So it's something that you want to do. You don't want to just buy a cryptocurrency and then say, okay, you're going to wait because you have an idea in your mind of the price that you should get to. Maybe because you read in the magazine. Nobody knows. All of those people are just speculating. In fact, some of those people who are speculating, they don't even have their money in cryptocurrency. Nobody knows. You know, cryptocurrency is driven by a number of things, not just by demand and by supply. It's, it's driven by a number of things. Invasion, the February 24 invasion of uh, uh, Ukraine by Russia affected it. There's nothing you could have done about that. The March 9 executive order by President Biden affected it. Senator Loomis's crypto bill affected it. Gary Gensler, that's the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States, his testimony before the U.S. Uh, Congress affected it. Now, last week, Jerome Powell, who is the chairman of the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank, his testimony before the U.S. Senate Committee, Banking Senate Committee, affected it. And these are things that are outside your control. And so because there are so many variables outside your control, you don't want to hold on to cryptocurrency and say, okay, it's going to get to that price. Nobody. You can only determine what price is going to be if you control it completely. But when you don't control it and nobody controls it, you've got market forces, 42% um, of all U.S. small and medium scale enterprises are accepting cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Binance Cash. So, you know, that all those things factor in. We cannot control everything. So because we cannot control everything, then we are forced to control ourselves. And how do we do that? We buy at the lowest price in the day and we sell at the highest price in the day and get our profit you know, get, get our principal back. So we keep our principal somewhere. That means the, the money that we started with. And then we keep on trading and trading and trading again with our profit. And so if it's, if and it has never happened to me, I've never lost money. But if suddenly one day happens and I just lose 50% of my money, it doesn't bother me because all of that money is profit. So, but when you now buy maybe a Bitcoin, you buy it at $32,000 and then you're waiting for it to get to $64,000 and you keep it and you just wait for it and then all of a sudden it deplies, the price plummets, you only have yourself to blame because you shouldn't do that. You know, this thing that they say, hold, uh, hold on for dear life. 
Who came up with it? It's a stupid idea. You cannot do that because you do not control all the variables. So then you have to take advantage of the volatility that you look at the price, you index, and then you make an informed decision based on indexing. And if you do that, you're not going to lose money. Well, you might still lose money. I've never lost money. But at least the chances of you losing money is severely, severely reduced. Now, if you've watched this video, and you have questions arising from this video before you put them in the comment section try to watch my previous videos in my previous videos i explained indexing i explained it in granular de detail i explained stop orders i explained in fact i put um, a video um, I, I inserted a video within a video i inserted figures so i tried to make it very very easy for dummies so so that anybody can do it so watch my previous video then if you still have further questions then put them in the comment section of this video my staff are very good at creating comments you're going to bring them to me and i'll try to respond to your comments but you got to remember i do not have a whatsapp forum a telegram channel or a gmail email address scammers have seen that my videos tend to go viral very quickly and so they've created a number of fake youtube profiles approaching people in the comment sections of my videos telling them helpline guideline one-on-one -on -one mentoring and then they give you numbers and then you contact them and they dupe you and start crying to me and say pastor reno you've duped me no i'm the apostle of prosperity i give people money i don't do people this way i'm happy saying god bless but Reno travels all around the world I hope you get inspired about what you see Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master Only one man against the old world in large Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand That's where Reno is